friends. Do any of you like to dance? This book is called Dance Tanya, and it's about a little girl named Tanya who does like to dance. Little Tanya loved to dance. When her older sister Elise put on her leotards and slippers to practice, Tanya put on her shirt and took off her shoes to practice too. When Elise did her positions, first, second, fourth, and fifth, Tanya did too. When Elise did a perfect plie, Tanya did too. When Elise practiced her pirouette and arabesque, Tanya did the same. Tanya particularly liked to do the arabesque. Sometimes Tanya liked to dance alone. Or dance a pas de deux with her ballerina bear named Barbara. Can you see her bear, friends? What else does she have? A cat, that's right. And when her mother put on Swan Lake... And Elise danced a whole song in arabesques and jetés right across the living room floor. Tanya put on her tutu and danced arabesques and jetés across the living room floor, too. Tanya made a very good sad swan. Ah, look at her dance. Tanya really loves to dance. But when Elise went to her lesson and Tanya wanted to go too, her mother said, You're too little, Tanya, to someday. Oh, she's sad. She really wants to go. And so sometimes Tanya would go along, but only to watch her sister Elise and all of the other dancers through the big window as they danced their arabesques and their jetés across the wide dance floor. One day, when it was spring and the flowers were opening their eyes, Elise got ready for a dance recital. She put on a new tutu with petals and pink lipstick, which she was never to use, and a dab of rouge on each cheek, and her mother combed her hair into a long, beautiful, silky braid. There's Elise getting ready for her dance recital. And everybody came to see Elise dance. Grandma and Grandpa from the country came, Aunt May, who always wore a hat, and Uncle Ernie, who never smiled, came. There's all the aunts and uncles and little Elise. And Tanya came and tried to see over the man with the lumpy hat who sat right in front of her. By sitting on her feet, Tanya could see that Elise was a wonderful flower, doing her arabesques and her plies just right. And soon, Tanya was very happy and sleeping as well. There's Tanya, sound asleep. You have a dancer in your family, Aunt May whispered as the family left the large room with all of the hats and voices. Tanya did not even hear, for she was fast asleep in her mother's arms. But when they all got home and drank coffee and laughed and said what a good dancer Elise was, Someone put on Swan Lake. Tanya woke up. And while nobody was looking, Tanya found her tutu and her scarf. And Tanya danced all alone. The music played loud and sweet. And she did a plie 
in an arabesque, and five grand jetés right across the floor. Dance, Tanya, her sister said, and her mother held her breath. Grandma looked over her glasses. You have two dancers in your family, she said. Everyone in the room clapped. Elise did, too. Tanya was such a wonderful sad swan. Bow, my Tanyetta, her mother said, and Tanya bowed. Then she crawled back up on her mother's lap like a tired kitten and went to sleep again. But her mother did not forget. On Christmas morning, Tanya discovered a large package under the tree for her. In it, she found a shiny case, a pair of her own leotards, and slippers just the right size. Come along, Tanyetta, her mother said when it was time to go to Elise's dance lesson. Bring your case, her sister said, and Tanya knew she wasn't too little anymore. The end. Tanya was a really good dancer, huh? She learned that when she grew bigger, she would get to go to dance class, just like her big sister. Do any of you guys go to dance class? Or do you just like to dance at home? We'll see you later, friends. Have fun dancing.